What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. Uh, another day, another vid, and here we go. Um, it's gonna be on best budget cards in the game right now, and guys, I hope you enjoy it. As for usual, drop 10k in the comments and like the vid. So if you are new, uh, vids 50 likes, somebody in the comments wins 10k. Uh, on Xbox one. So yeah, just 50 likes on the video will be giving away a simple 10k Just smash that like button 50 likes 10k to a random sub and commenter. So here we go uh, We're gonna go over the best positions the best budget players you guys should cop right now And we're gonna start off with QB and honestly I would say budgets around 10k or less. Let's say 12k or less to be budget right off the bat we got Cam Scram Newton at 10k. His stats are awful, honestly, but everybody's stats are awful at this stage in the game. Unless you're dropping like 50k or 100k. This Cam Newton card is not too bad, and he's only 10k. Who doesn't want to see Cam Newton on their team this early? Uh, I believe that this is a very good budget card, in my opinion. Uh, you could have like an all 80 overall team with like probably 100k. Um, if you just listen to both, maybe 150k. But yeah, it's pretty budget if you ask me. Um, grinding the solos. First of all, another budget card you guys could get. If you didn't do the solos for Baker Mayfield and Deacon Jones, another good free cards. 86 overalls are very high and expensive. So if you do those challenges, you're valid. Um, next up, we got um, halfbacks. And honestly, Dalvin Cook, Nick Chubb honestly kind of caught my eye. I'm not even going to lie. Nick Chubb definitely caught my eye. But the 81 speed and the 51 catching... But Dalvin Cook's actually faster. Let's check James White. He probably has really good catching. So he has 70 catching versus 80 speed. And he has 75 carrying, 57 catching. The catching's not good at all. Let's check 79s. Let's see what we got. TJ Yeldon, Doug Martin. Uh, Aaron Jones probably really good. 81 speed, 55 catching. Honestly... Tevin Coleman's probably really fast. 85 speed. All right. This is probably one of the better budget cards. Out of 78 overall, this looks like the most ideal back, especially this early in the game. Oh, my God. He got traded. Who, where did he get traded to again? Where does Tevin Coleman go again? Uh, let's see. Tevin. Damn. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he went to the 49ers. So, uh, Coleman to the 49ers, and he's actually not even that expensive. He's at 9k. I mean, he's gonna be a lot cheaper when the game actually comes out. So I would say that's the top budget running back in the game right now, especially with the speed, man. He's if you have an 80 overall, uh, if you have the Dalvin Cook, whatever, just throw him in at the third down running back. It's so ideal. Next up, one of my uh, there's a lot of good budget receivers actually that I noticed. I like Jarvis Landry as one of them. Um, even though he does have a fumbling problem right off the bat. I mean Cooper Cup had an amazing season last year and his stats are not too good I mean not too bad. I honestly respect Cooper Cup and honestly if you want to go OG He's probably slow as hell Fitzgerald man. He's got catching all over. I'm probably gonna pick him up myself uh, Larry Fitzgerald who doesn't like Larry Fitzgerald? I, everybody loves this dude. He's a Cardinals for life uh, is that a snipe? 8,700. Ah, I might pick him up. We'll see. But yeah, that's a pretty good budget card in my opinion. Uh, 8,700 coins. We got a Larry Fitzgerald. Not bad. Golden Tate's not bad. But I, oh, Robert Woods as well is a very good budget card. 82 speed. Pretty solid catching. Um, the route running deep is not too bad. But realistically, everybody's stats in the beginning of the game are not good at all. So yeah, um, I would say Jarvis isn't bad, Allen Robinson isn't bad, this old, all these 80 overalls are actually pretty good budget wise. Um, next up, if you guys want to see a gameplay with these players I'm naming, just let me know, I'll go buy them, I'll post up a gameplay with them, budget gameplay. But yeah, next up, we got tight ends. Um, Jordan Reed at 13k is probably the most budget you're going to get, but another good budget tight end that I noticed was Jared Cook at a 79 overall. He, um, he's not too expensive also this hurt um christopher hendon or herndon he is 64 he's a beast he's not bad and let's see where is that jared cook i know jared cook is actually very expensive hunter henry at a 79 is very budget that's not bad either he's 65 you got a big target low in the game and 75 run blocks pretty solid so i would say him tyler eifert isn't bad and jared cook 
He's got 50 run block, though. So, let's see Engram. Engram's probably not even budget. 57 run block. I'm going to go Hunter Henry. He has the best run block. He's a big target, and he has pretty decent catching. I'm actually going to buy him myself, probably start him. So, that's not a bad budget card as well. Um, I'm not even going to go over O-line. Let's go over some defense. Left ends. Let's see what kind of um, budget cards we got. Vic Beasley's not bad. How, what's his speed looking like? He got a 78 speed at the outside. If you're looking for a budget end, I got to go Vic Beasley. He's got the speed. His stats aren't the worst, I guess. 66 tackle. I mean, everybody really has low stats at this point in the game. You have to remember that. If you're really running a budget squad, this is probably one of the better budget ends. And also, I know Mike Daniels. I think he's a left end in this. Is Mike Daniels a left end? Oh, Michael Bennett at 8K. That's very good. 64 speed. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I'll go him at 8K. Michael Bennett um, with those small-ass shoulder pads. Michael Bennett, we got... Who's this? Who's this dude on the Rams? Is that Brockers? Can't even see because my face cam's in the way. But let's see. So, yeah, it is Michael Brockers. So, he's pretty cheap, too. A lot of decent, good left ends in the game. Let's check right ends. Um, we got Nadama Kansu, 80. He's probably really slow. 62. I mean, do you really want a 62 speed edge? Dude, I don't know. Oh, this is this is an ideal one, I feel. He has good finesse. Pretty decent speed. It looks like he's a good outside. It looks like he'll be good for the outside. Um, Honestly, yeah. I would say he's pretty budget, 10K. Pretty solid right end. Mike Daniels as well. He plays for me. But Justin Houston's an 81 end. That's also very interesting. I might be picking him up. He looks like a beast, and I love Justin Houston. Who doesn't? Next up, D tackles. There's probably a bunch of cheaper budget D tackles at 75 to 79. Let's check it out. And we got a... Is there any... Honestly, I'd rather just go for the Elite. Malik Jackson's is not bad. Poe's not bad. But since there's such low overalls, might as well just go Elite and get yourself a Goldman or a Sheldon Richardson. Whoever I like faster D linemen. Uh, or big chunky i love vince wilfork man 62 speed sheldon richardson seems like the best he has good power move it looks like yeah what's the tackle yeah sheldon richardson looks like the best budget 80 overall d tackle next up left outside linebackers i like looking at speed and zone and anthony Barr seems to have all that let's check his zone i have anthony Barr on my team now he's actually very very good for me he has a couple picks. 65 zone for an 80 is very good, actually. And everybody else is probably really expensive. Let's check TJ Watt, though. <coughs> TJ Watt's a beast. Let's see. We got a zone coverage of 56. So, yeah, right off the bat, bar's faster, and he's got the better zone. I like... I always put my linebackers in zone. I usually run cover three, cover two. Um, when I run pressure, I don't care. I love Anthony Barr. He's cheap, and he's beast. Um middle linebackers this is the one this is the one position that i think needs a little help budget wise so i'm gonna go ahead and go to 75 79 because everything else is way too expensive in my opinion avery williamson's okay but if you could find a 79 overall like who is it is he fast he's not too slow you want a faster middle linebacker if you see a middle linebacker with like a 75 speed nah you need to have like an 80 a 78 uh miles jack look perfect example he has a good zone He's a 79 overall, and Miles Jack's a beast anyways. So I would go Miles Jack, and unless you have some training, like I have a little bit of training, you could pick up some Luke Keekly or Bobby Wagner, upgrade him a little bit, get him to an 80, and just rock out with them for now. Um, just keep saving up. But let's see what we got right outside. We got corner, free safety, strong safety, left. Let's check it out. Best budget right outside. Let's see. Speed and zone. Okay, see, I have Dante Hightower, and he has a lot of trouble covering his zone. His zone must be very bad. Um, I literally can't stand. I verse kids online, and I get destroyed. Yeah, his zone's 53. You're going to have to put him on the line. If you're looking for zone, I don't know what to tell you. He's just not the option. You're going to have to go for a budget 75, 79 overall right outside. You just want to look for speed and zone. Leonard Floyd. He's pretty speedy. Let's check his zone. It's probably not good on the zone, but let's see what we got over here. The zone 45. That's rough. Miguel Bradham might be good. Lorenzo Alexander. I actually might pick him up because I'm a Bills fan. And he's just a vet, man. Let's see. Zone coverage. Do we pass it? I think we did pass it. 
His zone is a 67. So honestly, that's not a bad zone. I will go him or Lorenzo Alexander. Oh, yes. Kendricks, baby. 78 speed. He's definitely got the good zone. Probably one of the better zone. Um, zone, yeah, six, uh, 63. So Nigel Bradham definitely wins. Bradley Chubb's also kind of cool. Uh, cornerbacks. There's a ton of budget quarterback cornerbacks. We got Tredavious White at number one. He's my babe, bro. I love Tredavious White. We got Tredavious White. We got Aqib Tlaib. And we got Nigel Robbie Coleman. Those are my tops by far. Like, Tredavious White should be a lot higher, man. Tredavious White's a beast. And next up, free safety, strong safety. Make this one quick. This is actually a good price right here. Justin Reed. Yeah, 83 speed is very good, too. And, yeah, I'm just going to go him. How's his zone looking? 76 not bad either that's a very good card actually next up we got strong safety and last but not least strong safety john johnson not too fast tony jeff i love tony jefferson oh ah, the zone i like the zone Jabril pepper yes okay his zone is trash he's kind of small but yo he will definitely be my safety him or jamal adams eric berry's an 81 wow that's a diss Let's see, 80 speed, oh nah, Eric Berry's got stats, he's probably the best budget safety, but anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid, first budget video, hope you enjoyed, that's all I got for you today, stay tuned for MLB content, this, we got three vids today, hope you guys enjoyed, peace! Tomorrow ticket flare. Thank you.